So we've all seen these epic football commercials and they look sick, but they do have huge budgets and access to the best filmmakers and editors in the game. So I think it'd be interesting to see how difficult they really are to make. Along with fellow creator John Farmer, we wanted to try it out for ourselves. So we're going to be recreating all these famous football commercials using just an iPhone. I've picked out 10 clips for us to try and remake. First up, the Hulk smash. Понятно. Галк, давай, давай, выдай. <laughs> what the, the, the. Reckon yeah. we can do this? Yeah. yeah. Two shots. Let's do it. Got an idea. Let's do yeah. it. Right, so for this Hulk one, first things first, we've got to cut up a football. I'll yeah. cut that in half. Yeah. <laughs> no, we need to like, do that. Right? So it'll, yes, this side. we'll basically film you do that, right? Roll it in. To the... Knowing that you've hit that spot, and then basically you know, it's you... there and in there. So just whack it. Yeah, you're just in shot there, so you're happy with that, yeah? Yeah, I'll run it. Do you want me to just roll it? Yeah. So for this one, I'll strike the ball into the net, and then we do it again, but replacing the ball with the cut-up pieces. I'm going to go a bit wider, actually. Go. Oh. Sick. Okay, right, hold that there. Are you sure that's in the right place? Try and make it go everywhere, basically. Oh. I don't know, that felt good. We'll see all that, right? So th this will stay the same. This oh, will okay. be like all masked out and it will be replaced with this explosion of the ball. Is he even happy with that? I'm happy with that. I think so. Yeah? First one done, let's go to the next one. Boom! John then had the arduous task of keyframing out all the pieces and making them merge seamlessly together. Really? <laughs> what the? Понятно. Gal, давай, давай, выдай. <laughs> what the? Давай, давай, выдай. <laughs> right, so next up we've got the Ronaldo transition from me to you. That's cool. Just walks behind the player and they yeah. change into someone else. It's relatively simple to film and yeah. then it'll just all be cut together, hopefully. But yeah, pretty, pretty straightforward. So this one was pretty simple. We set the camera up, I walked past, John walked past, in the edit they were cut together and boom, this is the final product. It's some Cristiano Ronaldo in it. If one stays on. I'm Cristiano Ronaldo in. So I'd say this was a pretty decent recreation to be fair, and it wasn't too difficult, but this is the point in the video where they start to get a lot harder. Okay, so next up we've got the multiple legs. I heard that he had three legs. Three legs? What? For real. Four legs! Eight legs. We need to do a side angle enough for what an angle. What about that? What about that? Yeah, we'll do that. I say we do that and a side angle as well. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So the plan for this one was to film John doing step overs with the ball from three different angles. Action! Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Oh. So yeah, I don't think we even need to put the eight legs in your feet with that. <laughs> this is one of them ones, it's easy to film, but it's the editing process that's going to be the hard part. So after filming that, this was a raw footage we had to work with. After this, in post-production, John had to keyframe out the legs and track them, which, by the way, is a very long process. He was then able to duplicate the legs, put it all together, and it turned out like this. Four legs! Eight legs? Come on. Really? Next up, we had one of the most difficult recreations of the video, and we really didn't have much idea how we are going to do this using just the equipment we had. Hi, there's Kevin De Bruyne. Did you get out? Right, for this one, we've got morph suit. Lovely bit of kit. We don't have to cut it, you could put it on back to front and then just like rip it like, yeah, like yeah, actually yeah. no good luck. So we decided that the best thing to do was use this green suit as an outline for the ripping motion and then we could edit that out after. We need to film you first with just the barter shirt on doing that. Like that will be used as a guide for what ripping looks like, if that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. So we're rolling. Yeah. After this, John stood in my place and we could hopefully cut the two scenes together. Now, once again, this is what we wanted to recreate. Kevin De Bruyne. So did you say get out? And this was our attempt. So obviously it was super hard to get this to look as realistic as they did. And honestly, I have no idea how they made it look so good. It's genuinely just incredible editing skills and probably some very expensive software. You made the ball vanish. 
So he's dribbling along, the ball just keeps... That's sick. It's nice, isn't it? All right. So the ball vanishing edit was next. This looks super cool, and to be fair, the filming process for this one was actually quite easy. All we had to do is film one shot dribbling towards the camera. We check back the footage to make sure we're happy with it. And in the edit, it was a case of cutting out the background and adding the ball in and out of frame to give this cool effect. And this was the final product. You make the ball vanish. Okay. Right, so next one. I reckon this should be a quite easy one. Yeah. Pogba, boot disappearance. Just puts the boots and then they're gone. Yeah. I want to be you. I just want your boots. How how you reckon we're going to do it? So we'll just get a shot of you holding the boots and then like we'll take them away and then you'll react and then hopefully it'll all merge together. Cool, let's do it. Uh, so we are rolling. Three, two, one, react. Sick! I just want your boots. I just want your boots. Now this one was going to be super difficult. So yeah, we I think we, we just need to get the green screen out for this one. To be fair, the green. Right. So for this one, we've got the green screen. <laughs> There's like a big bit in a little bit, but I think this is the big bit. Plug into the grass. This is definitely uh, amateur setup, but I think we can make it work. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking whatever you're thinking. <laughs> so with this one, realistically, I didn't have a clue how we we're gonna do it. The one on the advert, it's like a proper moving shot. Yeah. I'm Which we can around. do, but it, it might look a bit naff in the edit because they've obviously used a 3D model, which yeah. you can like keyframe and stuff. We, we don't have a 3D model. So with John's advice, we set up the green screen. So the great thing about a green screen is that it makes anything disappear. Does that look good? <laughs> All right, so it just says, I've got 50,000 fans screwing my name. It turns out that this one line would be more difficult for me to say than expected. Well, I've got 50,000 fans screwing my name. Friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I've got 50,000. Yeah, well, I've got 50,000. <laughs> so what am I doing? So yeah, that pretty much sums up me for this one. I was absolutely clueless. So having filmed on the green screen, it was all about how realistic we could make this look in the edit. As John mentioned earlier, ideally we'd have a moving camera spinning around, but that just wouldn't work with the equipment we had. So that was our attempt, and I'd say this was probably our least realistic recreation of the video. Yeah, it was basically just really hard to make it as good as they did. Yeah, this is sick. So how are we going to film it? So Multiple angles or from the side? I reckon we do two angles. I think one from the side, one from behind. Yeah. So the filming process for this clip basically just involved me dribbling the ball from multiple different angles. It's funny because this seems really easy to me, but I've, I keep forgetting that John's got ready all this. <laughs> then in the edit, the smoke effects were added. Once again, this is the smoke effect we tried to recreate, and this is our attempt. Now for the final clip of the video, it's a fake shot that sends the opponent flying. So it's just a fake shot and then... Yeah, and then a jump. So you're in the... yeah. So I'll be jumping up like a normal height, but in the edit, I'll probably like cut myself out and throw myself higher. Ah, okay. So it looks more accentuated. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Oh, no. In the edit, basically all that was changed was just the height of the jump. And the final product turned out like this. Yes guys, so those were our attempts at recreating famous football commercials on a budget. I hope you enjoyed the video and check out John's channel in the description below.